Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHotPTI.com. Uh, today, I've got a video for you on when you should fit cardio into your sessions. Should you do it before weights, after weights, maybe even split them up, keep them apart completely? Uh, you know, what if you're doing it for fat loss, for muscle building? We'll try and help you with this subject. A lot of people get a bit confused. Um, and this is one of the, the biggest areas of, of confusion in most gyms, I would say. Uh, how many times have you been into any gym and seen or heard someone going up to an instructor one week and saying, when should I do cardio? And they're told, oh, you always do it before you hit the weights, always. And then a week later, hey man, different instructor. Hey man, <laughs> hey man, when should I do cardio? Oh, you've got to do it after. Then a week later, hey, so when should I do my cardio? Oh no, no, you want to do it on different days, man. And this, this person has ended up sat there thinking, you've got to be some sort of rocket scientist. You know, who the hell are you supposed to believe that? I'm just going to quit. That's all that kind of bullshit does. You get told different things off different people. That's because until recently, until the last few years, this subject was one where a lot of different theories made sense. You know, people had a lot of ideas on what worked for them and what made sense in their heads. Uh, so that's what they went with. There's different ways to get different results, right? Um, there is substantial research done in this subject now, so hopefully that they will kind of help you a little bit. Uh, how about today we try and cover a few different areas of this that we always do. We'll try and cover, like I say, those that are doing it for fat loss, those that are trying to build lean muscle, uh, what about high intensity training, um, regular cardio, we'll, we'll try and get a few different scenarios in so that people aren't left in any kind of doubt, okay? Uh, see if we've got time, because I've got to pick Junior up in a few minutes. So, um, first of all, I want to get the bottom of this answer straight away. This might cause a bit of controversy with your current training regime. It certainly did with mine a couple of years back. Um, your cardio would get better results if you did it before you did weights. All right, we're going to talk about, I mean, that, that applies to both regular cardio and high intensity interval training. Um, if you've been training weights and then hitting cardio, which a lot of people you know, believe that, that to be the right way to do it, um, don't worry, you're not alone there. I used to do it myself. Um, you know, if, if you watched our channel at the start, somebody asked me for my opinion on this subject, and I actually said to them, you know, I've always done it this way, do my weights first, cardio second, because in my opinion, if I do cardio first, I'll not be able to, to go full out on the weights. And that was my idea, it made sense in my head and a lot of people have trained that way um, but when you look at the science which I was trying to do it's how you, you become a good trainer it's how you, you get in better shape um, I've spent the last couple of years doing that with various aspects and this is one area which really changed my own way of training as well uh, so much research out there guys that, that points to the fact that if you do regular cardio or high intensity training before your sessions you'll get better results not just for building lean muscle but also for burning fat um, we're going to go a little bit into the a little bit of the science. I know I don't really like to do that on our videos because we want it so that complete newcomers to the gym can, can get results with our videos. That's what we started our page for. So there's two, two enzymes which are released in your body um, when you're doing your session in the gym. And one of them, uh, AMPK, is, I think you want to call this the enemy of building muscle. Uh, <laughs> it's not quite that dramatic, but if this is where an enzyme is released in your body to help your body adapt to endurance training. So it, it's good, you know, but not for building muscle. Um, the hero, if you want to call it that, uh, <laughs> I don't know, we've got to come up with cheesy names like that. The hero would be MTUR. This is the enzyme that's released just after you finish weight training, which is going to help you. It's basically turning on the muscle building process, okay? And that will last, will start in the first hour after you finish weights, and it'll last for about six hours. So if you finish your weight training and then you jump straight on a bike and you start doing an hour-long training session, not only should you be you know, using that time when the MTOR enzyme is being released in your body, making the most of that with some quality nutrition. Um, not only are you wasting that time doing cardio, but you're actually releasing AMPK as well, which kills off MTOR, all right? So it, it's, it's kind of, you're still in the gym, you're still working hard, you're still sweating, but you're actually stopping the muscle building process from reaching its full potential. You'll still get results, don't get me wrong. I, I trained that way for years, you know, and uh, I, I enjoyed results with that, but, um, when you switch to it the other way around, you'll notice why. It, it's so much more effective. Uh, there was a study done at the, um, I think, you, you guys can search for this, but I think it was the James Madison University. Um, they did a number of studies on this and they found that uh, people who did cardio after their training as opposed to doing it before, and this applied to both HIIT training and regular cardio, uh, the people that were, were doing cardio after their weights, it, it actually stop their muscle growth uh, considerably. Not not completely, like I say, you'll still get results, but compared to the other group, these, these guys were really like substantially struggling to, to pile on the muscle growth. Um, and there was another one published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning, which we were reading a while back in the gym, 
uh, where they did another similar study and they found that this is for the guys that train for fat loss, um, doing your cardio before your weight sessions actually increased fat loss as well. So the, you know there's multiple benefits to do it. Um, I also want to take a little bit of time in this video to talk about you know, what if you what if you don't have time to do high intensity cardio or regular cardio and weights in the same session. Some people like to split them up. So you know what what should you do? Um, if you like to do your cardio in the morning and your weights in the afternoon, that's fine. But to be honest with you, I'd, I've always preferred doing it the other way around, but there's nothing wrong with that. You'll still get results doing it that way if you want to split them up. Perfectly fine, okay? Just make sure you've got your nutrition down. Um, you're not leaving yourself running on low on fuel, um, which is common sense. And the guys that want to do it the other way around, loads of people like myself, I like hitting the weights first thing in the morning and then maybe doing some cardio later on uh, if I get a chance once, once the kids are in bed. Uh, if you do it that way, remember the, the MTOR enzyme is released just after you finish the weights and it lasts for about six hours and then it goes back to normal. The, the levels decline back to normal. So if you're going to do cardio later in the day, try and leave about six hours in between the two sessions, okay? Uh, so you, just so you can get maximum benefits from that enzyme release in your body, um, it'll, it'll help you. At the end of the day, that, that's what it's there for. And then when you do your cardio later on, you get the benefits of doing that as well. Particularly high intensity cardio, just works fantastically if you're going for lean muscle growth, uh, fat loss, um, and that's it. That's uh, it's as simple as that, guys. If you're going to do cardio, try and do it before your session. The only real exception I would say, which goes back to my old theory behind this, uh, when I was first starting out as, a, as an instructor, um, that I didn't used to want to do cardio because it would deplete the muscles and energy, and then I'd get to do the weights and I'd be like, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people believe that to be, be true. Now, the, the only way that would really affect you is if you're going to be doing hard cardio workouts on the same muscle group that you're going to be working in the gym. So for instance, leg day, you don't want to be spending ages on the bike pushing yourself high intensity intervals and then go and try to do leg workout. The way to get around that guys is just don't do cardio on leg day, simple as that. Um, and then you can get maximum results from leg day, which if you're watching our videos, you'll know is just the best, the most important day in the whole gym. Alright, hope this video has helped you, clear up some of those myths. Um, feel free to share and help a few other people with this because that's why we do it in the first place. And this myth's everywhere. You know, it's, it's everywhere, but if you look, there is loads of proof on this that you should uh, be doing your cardio first. It's just a lot of people don't know where to look, and a lot of people don't have anyone to sit down with them like, like we've done a day and, and explain things to them at all, so they end up being lost, which is not really fair on them. Um, so I hope it helped you, help other people with it. Um, catch me on Facebook if you want to ask any more questions like this, or you know how to set up high intensity training um, to suit your goals, stuff like that. That's what we do. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.